Let's get into this interactive notebooks subject is science for fifth grade by Carson De La Rosa Education. And please remember to pause wherever you may need to take a little extra time, such as a table of contents. The first 11 pages of this workbook really help you plan your year and understand how to use this workbook. And after that intro, this interactive science notebook for grade five is broken down into four different sections, life science, physical science, earth and space, and then lastly, re reproducibles, which are extra charts and flip through books to copy and use to your discretion. This fifth grade science interactive notebook is 96 pages in total. So if you're not familiar with these notebooks, this is a unique form of taking notes as the teacher guides her homeschooler on taking notes on new topics that will be fun, colorful, and include 3D elements. Students are encouraged to complete their notebook pages in ways that make sense to them. And because of their creative nature, interactive notebooks allow the students to be creative participants in their own learning. Using interactive notebooks can take as much or as little time as the student would like. Students will initially take longer to create pages, but will get faster as they become familiar with the process of creating pages. I will share with you at the end of this flip through the different varieties of science books that I plan to use to teach, read, and form lectures for my students, my kids, at the end of this flip through. And I also plan to use other educational resources as well as YouTube educational videos to pull from and allow my kids to watch and just have fun while they're learning and filling out these interactive notebook pages. Overall, I have used interactive notebooks in various subjects over the past few years and they have always been a hit with my kids. Especially on those days where we, where we may be struggling or it's a rainy day or my kids just really wanna have fun instead of doing homeschool, that's where I choose to bring out the interactive notebooks of science or whatever subject you choose if you're thinking about it because my kids think of it more as an art and crafts lesson they have fun with the cutting, coloring, pasting. It's really a break from the mundane homeschool and textbooks. So it really makes teaching with these a breeze and learning fun for my kids. And when they're around just 10 to $15 each, you can't go wrong with these. I can't recommend these enough. But keep in mind that you will need to purchase a spiral notebook or a regular notebook and have loose leaf paper where you can create these pages of notes for your child or homeschool student. But overall, this is a great way to bring some fun back into your homeschool. They can create their cover page, their introduction page, and really make it their own. So they'll feel so special and so happy when they have to go bring that notebook out to complete their work. And we're not done, I'm gonna show you the extra resources that I'm going to use to help teach and lecture my students. But before doing so, my name is Stephanie. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids, fifth grade and under, and it would mean so much to me if you would like, subscribe, and share this with your homeschool tribe so that they can make the best decisions choosing their curriculum for the upcoming academic school year. Now let's get to the next section. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this as far as our notes. I am gonna make like some little PowerPoint slides for my kids. I'm gonna give a little lecture or brief talk, but I'm gonna be using these books during the duration of this workbook. Uh, and there's many, there's lots and loads of different sections that will apply to this throughout the um, use of this workbook. I broke the books I have into three different sections according to how this notebook is laid out. Um, life science, physical science, and then earth and space. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. And I just kind of put them in order according to like the table content so you can kind of see what I'm going to use. I'm also going to go to the library and after I finish this workbook, I'm going to get a traditional text, science textbook. So, and I also have one you'll see here in the very bottom, which we can go ahead and get homework and samples for. So we are going to go over what we're going to be using for life science and we always go to the library. So 
we might pick something from there too as well. So that's just, this is just what I have in my own home library. So for life science, I have uh, many leaves. So we'll just go over and learn about the different types of leaves. So we will go ahead and just discuss this briefly. Read it, maybe color some leaves from a free printable off of Pinterest, and then maybe go on a walk and see what we can find nearby. It mentioned butterflies, so I thought what greater way than to read this butterfly book. It has it in the little notes that you take, um, classifying living, non-living things. And again, even if it's a fifth grade book, I'm going over these books with all three of my kids, which are pre-K, second, and then fifth. And then we'll be going over frogs. This one I had in my personal library, and I love this one a lot. It's called Life, at a, Life of a Pond, and it is so detailed. This is one of my favorite books to read to my kids. I read it probably two or three times a year. I like to bring it out and go over with them, and then it has these questions that I question my kids, and we go over that. And then, who doesn't love Magic School Bus? And we'll probably watch a few of these episodes. And I'm also gonna include down in the description below all the different videos that we're gonna plan to watch per section, so any age can watch them. How living things grow. As the topic starts to change, you'll see we'll go into a little school bus about deserts and climate. And of course, we live in the desert, so that's always great. And then we'll be going into the human body, so my book about bones, just a great book that we got that we'll read together. The Magic School Bus, Inside Ralphie, A Look at Germs. I've seen that episode when I was a kid, and I always loved that one. Then here's another one about germs. And we've read a lot of these before, but it'll just kind of be a good little study unit slash doing the workbook and learning some new things and going to the library. And this is just a really nice, good Kid Appropriate book. And this is one of my favorite science textbooks, Kid Appropriate, Age Appropriate, and my kids love this textbook and we'll be going over multiple sections during our duration with this interactive notebook. And although I don't have a huge selection of books in my personal library for physical science, I find that this is great enough to start this section and if I need to be, I can always go to the library for more. And because we are starting our homeschool in late August, this will fall probably around the fall season, which will be fun and exciting to start this Haunted Museum book. This pamphlet is from a prior energy project dealing with building and making an electric solar car, which we love doing. And we're just going to go ahead and go over the pamphlet briefly just to remind us of all the wonderful things that we learned during that time. These Charlie Brown encyclopedias are our family favorite books that we've read throughout the years and my kids still love them. And for the last section I have here, we'll be going over earth and space science. I just have this ocean nice uh, magazine that we got from National Geographic Kids and it's been in our house for years and my kids love it and it's time to introduce it to my youngest now, so perfect timing. And going along with that, we have some stencils, maybe some art and crafts that we can color or paint. It will be really fun to use. Then we're gonna get into the water cycle. So I thought this great book on rain would be really good for them. It has questions and answers. And then a rainbow, same thing, questions and answers. And it's just really good overall. And then this one will be for my youngest, my toddler who was in pre-K with me this year. And it is big words, but my daughter could read it to him and she can try to teach him some of the words or just really just get him to love science. I like to read this to my kids. It's kind of like a Where's a Waldo with the octopus and it's just fun when he goes through all his activities. So we'll also be adding that onto this section. And then sharks. And then this really neat underwater ride about animals. And then this is all the rage when my son was in TK. And I remember this book coming out. It was a hit book. And my kids absolutely love it. It's called My Name is Adora Billis. It's about this cute octopus who gets introduced into an aquarium. And he's trying to find out what his name is, the octopus. As we get into the climate section of this portion of the workbook, I have another Snoopy's uh, Charlie Brown encyclopedia about earth and weather. 
and then I have this one from Barnes and Noble that is about weather and it has questions and answers and it's just a really good book so we'll be going over all this as well and then it has a space travel like objects in space And then as it gets into Earth, I have this one by Magic School Bus about volcanoes, then rocks, and this will be for my toddler. I already started reading it with him and he absolutely loves it, and I think it's just a small but impactful book. Then I have this one, Inside Earth, and then this isn't scientific, but it's just a cute little book about all the animals, so we're gonna throw that in there. And then I absolutely love this book. It's a pop-up book. It is so cute. How cute is this gonna to be to have an interactive book as we're reading about the earth, crust, and everything else. My youngest already loves this book so much. And you can pull, twist, it pops up. And because there's a section of volcanoes, I thought, look at that, isn't that cool? This and that's how we are gonna be using these books. And just briefly going over this one, I we've used this in the summer, but I thought what greater way to introduce my two youngest kids to this book is broken up into different sections like physics and plant earth and human body, all the sections that we're using and it tells you what kind of um, experiment it is and they're all very easy. So it's gonna be really fun to use this book. For this giant book of questions, and like it has science, animals, plants, the human body, which we're probably going to use and then space. That's all we have for today. I hope you found this interesting and I will see you next one.